In this tutorial, I'll be showing you why it's so beneficial to have a multi-symbol expert advisor. I'll also be showing you how to convert your own EA to have this multi-symbol capability. Hi, welcome to this coding tutorial. This will actually be the first in a series of tutorials on advanced MQL coding techniques. This first episode will cover the coding of a multi-symbol expert advisor in MQL5. So firstly, why is it useful to have a multi-symbol EA? Well, the first reason is that it will allow you to undertake optimizations of multiple symbols in a single backtesting process. Now, I think it's just worth stating the obvious here and saying that what I'm talking about with a multi-symbol EA in a backtesting context is different to the option within the strategy tester to test all symbols in the market watch window. With this latter option, which is the built-in capability within the MT5 strategy tester, this runs separate back tests on each of the symbols. And so what you end up with in the end is if you back test 20 symbols, you'll end up with 20 sets of results, one for each of those symbols. What I'm talking about here with a multi-symbol EA is a single set of results that incorporate all of the trades from every one of those symbols that have been traded. So it's quite different to the, to the built-in market watch symbol technique of MT5. What this means is that because the parameters have been selected based on a range of symbols, it means they're much more likely to be robust and to be representative of what you would expect in live trading. Secondly, it allows us to view a combined equity curve and metrics from the optimization, giving us a more realistic view of what would happen if we traded across all of those symbols in a live single account. Secondly, in terms of using the EA in a live trading context, it certainly makes ongoing management a lot easier because you just need one EA to be running rather than multiple EAs on multiple charts. Secondly, it also leads to much more efficient use of system resources on the host PC. So running a single EA that's trading 20 symbols will use significantly fewer resources than say running 20 individual EAs on 20 charts. And finally, it facilitates diversification within your trading system because it's now so much easier to both backtest and also trade live multiple symbols simultaneously. Now, if you are trading more symbols in the same account, this should lead to smoother equity curves because while one particular symbol is performing very well and others are performing badly, what you should find out is that the the drawdowns are reduced by those symbols that are performing better. And so this results in an overall equity curve that tends to be smoother. And if you have smoother equity curves, then this of course should also have the benefit that it makes your Darwin's more appealing to investors on the Darwin X platform, which will lead to increased investment, increased AUM. Now, if you're new to Darwin X and you don't know what we're about yet, DarwinX provides a platform enabling investors to be brought together with traders. So if you're a trader who's generating decent alpha out of the markets, then it will allow you to publish your system and make that available for investment. And any profit you generate for your investors then attracts a success performance fee that you will be paid. And so if that's appealing to you, then please check out the DarwinX website for more information. 
So just a couple of considerations now for multi-symbol EAs. The first thing is a bit of an obvious one, but it's worth stating still, I think, is that when you are backtesting a EA with multiple symbols, it will obviously take a lot longer to test than the same EA for a single symbol. However, of course, this is still much quicker than if you backtested each symbol in a serial manner in, in the backtester. Additionally, because there are multiple price data streams, multiple indicator values for each symbol that will need to be processed by the backtester, this of course means that there's an increased demand on resources on the PC also. And in particular, I'd highlight memory on the system. Because if your standard memory runs out, then of course this will cause paging on the PC and this will slow down the backtesting process considerably. Now, if paging does occur for the number of symbols that you're trying to trade on your EA, then you will have to consider adding additional memory to your PC to get over that issue or else reduce the number of symbols that you're actually trying to simultaneously backtest. So just to give you some kind of idea, when I started to um, trade multi-symbol EAs and backtest those on my PC, I had to um, double the, the memory on my own PC in, a, in order to um, test the number of symbols that I wanted to. So I had to take it from 16 to 32 gigabytes. So just a few points now on this particular tutorial. The first thing to note is that I'll be using MQL5. I won't be looking at MQL4. Although it is possible to produce multi-symbol EAs in MQL4 for trading on the MT4 platform, this is only possible within a live trading context. The MT4 strategy tester is not capable of testing multiple symbols, regardless of what you do in your code of your, of your EA. So the code that I look at today will be designed to work in both the MT5 strategy tester and within a live trading context without any changes. Secondly, I, I won't be providing you today with a fully functional trading EA. I will, however, be providing all of the necessary code and the techniques that you need to use in order to convert a single symbol EA into a multi-symbol EA. So I'm assuming that you already have a single symbol EA and by taking the code that I show you today and incorporating that into your own EA will enable you to convert that single symbol EA into a multi-symbol EA. So don't expect to be able to take the, the code that I provide today and have a fully functional trading EA. And the last point is that I'm not going to teach you how to code. I'm assuming in everything that I'm going through today that you have some coding knowledge already. What I'll be doing in this tutorial and in the whole of this tutorial series is look at advanced techniques that you can then take and incorporate into your own EAs. But I'm not going to start from scratch. And so if you do need to look anything up that you're not sure of, you'll need to do that on the usual forums and on the MQL site and so on. Okay, so let's move on. And by clicking on the link here to part 1.2, we'll start to get into the detail of the code.